What's good? It's your girl, Big Mel Runs. So yeah, I posted something showing that I make handmade jewelry. And that's not, has nothing to do with the topic of running or slow run or Big Mel, uh, Big Mel running. But you know what? It is what it is. I ain't monetized. Um, I'm going to keep my dreams big. Maybe I'll get there one of these days on the YouTube. But since I'm not, I do make jewelry. I just want it to be known. I have a website, cleanthatcookie.com, that I'd like you to visit. I, um, I run. So when I finish running, I get a little musty. So I use my product. And I'm hoping that other people will use it too. Okay, I make a personal hygiene wash for men and women. Clean that cookie and clean these for men. Clean that cookies for women and clean these is for men. My website is cleanthatcookie.com. Yes, I make handmade jewelry and I sell personal hygiene wash. It's um it's a great product. I believe in it. I've been advertising for it on on my IG page, on my Facebook page. Uh, it's costing a little money to advertise, but I do because I believe it's a great product and I'd like you to try it. But, okay, aside from that, it's about running, right? Big Mel Runs. This page is about Big Mel Runs, right? So, um, I did the little 15K and, you know, because this is a little hobby for me. It's not just a hobby. I told you, this is my meditation, okay? And, no, you're not going to see me videotaping me working out every day. But I do go to the gym. I do get a little practicing because I got to get these legs moving. These legs are in their 50s now. So, yeah. Okay. And I, I started as a late runner. So, you know, it's not easy. The aches and pains, waking up with them. I didn't start as a runner when I was in high school. You know, I started running at a later age and discovered that it was something that was for me, that I enjoy it. And no, I didn't get skinny because that wasn't the purpose of running in the first place. It was just to, uh, well, I no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. At one point, yeah, I wanted to, I was losing weight when I was running. I wanted to lose some pounds. And then I realized it wasn't just about that. It was about how it makes me feel afterwards. It makes me feel good. This is my meditation, like I said before. And I'm thinking a lot of other people probably feel the same way. That's why they get up and run, okay? I don't start early in the morning. I'm random, okay? Like right now, it's almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm about to go for a little late run in the park. Now, after the 15K, you may be asking yourself, so what's next for Big Mel Runs? Or may, you may not be asking yourself, but I'm telling you what's next for Big Mel Runs. I'm going to do a little run in January, the Joe Kleinerman run, for the first run of the year that I registered for. That would be, uh, um, I think that's only six miles. That's a six-mile run. And then guess what? I signed up for the half marathon, um, the United Airlines Half 2022, New York Road Runners. I had to wait to get in, and guess what? And congratulations, you're running the 2022 United Airlines New York City Half. Half marathon, in case you don't know, that's 13.1. Yes, I will be doing that. I'm supposed to be in the big marathon next year too. Because um, I opted, it was supposed to be this year, but I opted for 2022. So, you know, there's that. So this, that means a lot of practice. That's what that means. So it's time for me to get me some new sneakers too. I'm thinking about getting the Hoka ones. I like the Hoka, um, the Hoka, I think it's the Rincon. I don't remember which Hoka, but they're all black. I need some cushiony sneakers and I've been looking into those for at least a year. So when I get them, I'll do a short of that. You'll see. Or... You know, just, uh, you'll see. Whatever. Okay? Big Mel Runs. I see you in these streets.